Hey everyone, welcome back to Alf's Mustang Garage. Today we are back on the 66 Mustang Fastback. We're doing the six cylinder to 289 conversion. Um, it's been a minute since we've actually filmed, which to you guys, you're just gonna kind of see these videos come out like once a week. Um, but we've gone through the floor and done some patchwork, undercoated repainted the engine bay kind of sprucing it up but we're ready to kind of start putting some stuff back together so this video is going to be all dedicated to installing our eight inch uh, axle assembly with new leaf springs and so that's what today's video is all about okay so this eight inch differential we actually built here um we did not actually get to film this but i do plan on filming a differential build video and eventually i'll kind of add it to the playlist here but um, when converting from a six cylinder to a eight cylinder you you do need at least an eight inch uh axle housing uh you can go with a nine kind of depends on what kind of power you're adding here but we're kind of trying to keep this car a nice cruiser. So we opted to do just a stock, kind of a concourse correct um, uh, eight inch differential. Now we, we do do our shopping at quick performance. Um, and you know, I, we did do some upgrades with the, uh, you know, the billet um, reinforced uh, pinion housing along with the, the billet yoke as well. Um, this does have an Eaton True Track uh, 300 gear set in here. Uh, painted it the correct, uh, the red there. So, um, but yeah, backing plates are all refurbished. We, we send these axle housings out to be uh, sandblasted and powder coated. So, uh, for your leaf springs, uh, when I'm trying to achieve the correct ride height, if you're trying to achieve correct ride height and spring rates, um, I always call my friends over at Eaton Detroit Springs. Um, they will build you, like if you're going with the concourse direction, correct ride height and springs, um, those are the guys to call. So, um, and these are correct for a V8 Mustang. Um, GT is kind of what we're trying to make this car uh, replicate here. So, so those are where I get those. Um, Eaton will send you, you know, mounting hardware and uh, the U-bolts and all that kind of stuff. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get the car lifted up and get started. Okay, so the car's up in the air. We got our rear differential leaf springs positioned underneath. Uh, we kind of have the luxury of having the, uh, you know, two post lift and we can just kind of lift the car up and uh, make this like a really nice procedure because what we're going to do is we're going to install the front of the leaf springs Lower the car down and then like essentially, you know Strap the leaf springs under the the rear axle and just use the lift to pick it all back up um, Now you at home can you know not necessarily have the same luxury But I mean the idea is kind of the same, you know um but anyways, you, you'll see how it goes. Okay, so patience is going to be your uh, your ally here when you're putting these in, especially after you know kind of undercoating and stuff. Um, kind of got to walk them around and wiggle them, but um, wasn't too bad. Um, the big thing that I want to kind of emphasize here is before you just go torquing everything down, you want to leave it loose. So the nuts on there, but it's just going to be loose, so we can easily pivot, and we're going to keep it loose until this car is on the ground. 
before we do a final torque. Okay. Go ahead and kind of lift that off the ground. Okay. Come down a little bit more. Maybe you forget that I put them under in a cardboard box and they slide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are we good, boy? Yeah, about there. Let's see. Yep, that'll work. All right, we're about ready to put your shackles in. Now, something that I kind of wanted to point out that I like just learned about. Um, let me back up a little bit. Just so you know, like, I don't know everything there is to know about Mustangs, okay? Like, there's probably not anybody out there that does, okay? So it's important to know that, like, you can always learn something. I just learned something, okay? On um, leaf spring shackles, um, most of the time when you buy like an aftermarket deal, they're gonna come exactly like this, where they're like, it's got like a studded end on one side that goes through the frame rail, and then just kind of like an open end on the other side, okay? Well, when you buy from uh, Eaton Detroit Springs, for the driver's side, you're gonna get one that's staggered. And that's because the fuel tank on the Mustang sits closer to the driver's side and you can't exactly like feed all this through. There's like very limited clearance. So where you have a stud on just one of them, you can like slide it up in place and slide this one down in place with your bushings of course and just make the installation a whole lot easier. Um, that's not like concourse because this is concourse, but like it's just engineered with improvement just to make the installation much easier. So um, get your installation kits from Eaton Detroit Springs. Okay, so we'll work on the passenger side first. Um, we're gonna put the studs in. This is the, the quarter panel side going into the fuel tank. So we're gonna put our bushing on here first because if you install a bushing into the frame rail, you just don't have enough clearance. So we're just gonna loop it up into the frame rail, just like that. We can get our second bushing on like that. And then here's a third bushing like that. Okay, so now I'm ready to okay, pivot the leaf spring up in here. And here's another reason why we left it loose. So you can like rock it back and forth and pivot it, okay? So we can just kind of swing her right in like that and get our last bushing in like that and then get your plate on like that and then we got two nylon locking nuts like that okay so we're gonna like tighten them up but we're not gonna like Tighten them up. We're going to leave them loose because the final torque needs to be with the weight of the car on the ground. Okay, so now we're on the driver's side. So uh, this side, I'm just going to go ahead and install both of my bushings like that. And I'm going to install one shackle here like this. Um, and then that one's ready to lift up once I get this one up into place okay so this is like the limited clearance that i'm talking about like your fuel tank just kind of sits right there you can't like get this in here like this so you have to come in from this side right but you know on the bottom side it just makes the insulation so much easier when you don't have two studs here so let's go ahead and Up in there. Like that. And now we can lift our leaf spring up in the place just like that. Okay, so now that the leaf springs are in place and the axle housing is also in place, it's it's just kind of still, you know, resting on the stand. So this is gonna be kind of cool because we kind of like shifted it into place 
as Justin kind of raises the car, it's just gonna kind of roll this sucker into place. Um, and then we'll kind of get our U-bolts on. Okay, go ahead and lift her up. Whoop, whoop. That's all right. Went the wrong way. Yeah, it did roll the wrong way, but that's okay. Um. Okay, so obviously the rear axle isn't going anywhere, so it kind of rolled the, the opposite way. I thought it was going to kind of roll right into place, but but that's okay. We can handle rolling it right into place like that. See this little nub right here? It's just going to kind of go up into this perch. So, okay, let her down, and there she is. And that's a differential installed. Not yet. Let's get some U-bolts. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, in reference to converting from a six-cylinder to a eight-cylinder, if you have to change to uh, a different axle housing, um, you know, I don't actually know 100% for sure for the nine-inch, but the eight-inch is gonna use the same plates as the uh, smaller six, uh, six cylinder differential, which is like the seven and a quarter setup. Uh, the plates are the same, so you don't have to replace those. You can refurbish them and, and reuse them. Yeah, before we like cinch this whole thing down, you can definitely tell the differential's not set. Yeah, the whole axle housing needs to shift this way. Yeah. Better not be backwards. This one's easier. Grip it better. Some of the time. There it is. Technical measuring, making sure they're going on even. Okay. That should be snugged up enough on that one so we lower it down.
your that, that is your yeah rear differential assembly rear axle with leaf springs uh, the only thing that it would need after this is shock absorbers we'll save that for a later video okay so that concludes the rear differential assembly with the leaf spring video for this 289 conversion car um, if you found the video helpful give us a thumbs up if you want to help us out go ahead and subscribe to the channel follow us along those little things do go a long ways when helping to, uh, to support us uh, that way we can continue to make more videos which are helpful for you guys okay until next time appreciate it